If you are thinking that this is taken from any movie, then you are absolutely wrong. The entire scene is completely done from scratch using Hit Film Express, which is 100% free. Now for the ideation purpose, you can take the inspiration from the movies like Jurassic World, Godzilla, like that. This is basically called compositing, where different different elements are used to make this kind of scenes using a proper color grading. So if you want to know the complete step by step how I made this, then stay with me till the end of this video. So first of all, you make your composite shot. And here I'm going to drag one stock lips of bushes. As you can see, this is a simple stock lips of the bushes. So the first step is to create this kind of scenes is you have to create the mood. As you can see here, my entire scene is, is quite dull and this is a daytime shoot. But I want a kind of like a dark and moody tone. And that's why you have to play here with the color grading. So for a moment, I'll apply here the tint effect and apply in the background. So let's keep it here. I'll come back later on here. Now the next challenge is the dinosaur. Where you can get this kind of dinosaur clips? Well, you can use the 3D models of dinosaur from a different different stock sites. But here in this video, I have not used those any models because here I have used just only a stock video clip with a green screen of dinosaur as you can see here. And luckily I got this clip from the Pixabay. Yes, on Pixabay you can get a different different variation of dinosaurs with a green screen. And here I have picked this one and bring it in your timeline. So first of all, I have to remove the green background. You go to the search and type color difference. So my entire green color is removed and now you place it properly with the proper scaling. And here I don't want the whole part of the dinosaur clip. So I'll cut the first portion and keep the rest. Now before going to do anything, any operation, first of all I'll turn this two layer in three dimension. Because from now onwards everything will be in three dimension. And uh, let's rename it properly. So here you can see my layers are in 3 dimension, so I can manipulate everything in 3 dimension way. And that's why I'll push my background a little bit backward. It's all set now. But wait, my color correction job is still not done properly. So let's do some experiment again. You apply the curve effect in your background and play around it. And also you apply the tint effect in a dinosaur and play around it. Apply the curve as well. Okay, for a moment, let's keep it here. I'll come back later on again. Now, what's happening in the entire scene? There is a dinosaur and there is a background there. It's kind of looking flat design because there is nothing in the foreground. And to get the realistic look, it's very important to place something in the foreground. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll simply duplicate the same background and place it just above the dinosaur layer. And you bring it forward. And by doing this, you can see my dinosaur is covered fully, which is obvious. And uh, in the foreground layer, you make some scaling adjustment so that you can have different variation. Now the most important, select the foreground layer and change the blending mode to multiply. And see, my foreground is properly blended with the entire scene. But here you can see there's a sharp line, so we can remove this. Select a freehand mask and draw around it. Make some feather and boom, you are done. Now it looks like that my dinosaur is actually coming out from the bushes. Why? Because now both foreground and background layer are working properly. And now the super fun part will begin and that is the sky replacement. Yes, it's very important to remove the sky. As you can see here, my sky is quite dull and white and sky always play an important role to bring a mood. So here I'll drag one clip of the sky and don't forget to turn it 3 dimension. Under the transform setting I'll make some inclination because placing the sky as it is it looks very flat. So it's very important to make some inclination. And of course you change the blending mode to multiply and see my sky is properly blended. And again there is a sharp line here you can see and you can easily remove this by drawing the freehand mask. So my entire scene is complete now. Here I have not replaced the original sky, original sky is still there. I have just added one new video clip and play around its blending mode. And that's the power of blending mode. Anyways, we are almost done. But wait, again my color correction is still pending. So let's do some final experiment. Uh, here I will apply a color balance in the background and play around its channels. 
uh, for a moment I'll remove the tint effect from the dinosaur clip and let's add one light here and see the result okay it's good you can change the color as well and I think it's too harsh let's make it white again here I will add one orange color background. And change the blending mode to multiply. And of course you should reduce the opacity a little bit. And I think this is good. See, this is color grading, which is not specific. It is fully random. It's completely up to you what kind of vibe, what kind of mood you want to give in your entire scene. So I hope you like this video. This is only one scene using only one dinosaur. You can make an entire Jurassic Island by placing different different dinosaurs here as you can see. So that's all about today's video. I think after a long time I made the VFX video on Hitfilm Express. You can check out my playlist here on VFX video. Please like the video, share it and ask me any question in the comments. I will definitely answer. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I will see you in the next video with more interesting videos.